Hi, I'm Farooq Ramadan and I'm the designers of the History Stone Concrete Molds. A lot of my customers who buy my molds, they like to have a vibrating table to vibrate the air bubbles out of the concrete. So I have come up with an inexpensive solution using a vibrating motor that's affordable, a piece of plywood, and a tire to create an inexpensive vibrating table. We start with the motor. It is a good sized motor that comes with the capacitor here. This capacitor, it helped launch the motor on the, in the beginning. This, why, this, this is why this motor, it is energy efficient. So, all what you need is to connect this to another uh, power cord and you're ready to go. So, here I have taken the piece of plywood and I have drilled it four places to be attached to the tires, another four places to match the pattern on the vibrating motor. Using carriage bolt, washers, and wing nuts, I managed to attach a large tire, which you could get for a couple of bucks or free, the motor, and I drilled here and passed an extension cord and hooked it up to the wires. Also I have attached the capacitors to the tire, this way it will not keep vibrating. So that's pretty much it for the vibrating table. Now I have a vibrating table that I could turn up, plug it to an extension cord and start using it. You could use it on the table or on the ground, it depends about your application. I'm going to be using this uh, homemade uh, speed control. I went to the hardware store, I bought the dimmer control. It's used for uh, fans or light, a box, and an old extension cord. I cut it in half and wired it and put it all together. Now I have an extension cord, I could use it also as a speed control. So all what I need is to plug it into the outlet and plug the vibrating table. And you have to launch it on high and turn it down if you want to. And what's nice about this one, you could turn it on and off like this. So if you're using it all, what you need to push on and off like this to turn it on and off. I recommend you do something like this. It works great. And it's inexpensive. You could do all this for less than $10. Now I'm going to be using the extension cord with the dimmer switch. Plug the table to it. And I'm using one of my bird bath molds. I put a little bit of concrete in it. I'll show you how it works. the rest. And as you see, I have made my concrete mix a little bit crunchy. This way you'll see how well this will work.